What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 7 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday. Why I go into either Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's episode we're going to be changing up a little bit using Adobe After Effects to recreate the slide that you guys see right here. All right, now I really love this effect and I love what it does to 2D images. Now, if you guys don't have this plugin from Trapcode, it is called 3D Stroke. It does cost money, so if you guys don't have it or you guys don't have the money to buy it right now, this probably isn't the tutorial for you. But if you guys do have money or you guys already have 3D Stroke from Trapcode and you guys are trying to look um, how to kind of uh, mess around with it, then definitely follow this tutorial. Now, I have been getting a lot of subscribers ask how to do this, so here it is, guys. So after we have trap code 3D stroke, we want to go to composition, new composition, and I'm just gonna name this tutorial. And then I'm gonna set my width and height to 1280 by 720. And then I'm gonna set my frame rate to 59.94 and the duration to about five seconds. So after we have that setting, we want to click okay. All right, so now that we're in here, we want to go to layer, new, and solid. And then we wanna name this name, background, and then I'm going to set my width and height to, of course, 1280 by 720 to fill our frame. And then the color, I'm just going to, need to use the color code 373737. So after we have that, I'm going to click OK and OK. And then after that, we want to just lay down a basic circle. So we want to go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. And I'm just going to lay down a basic circle. Now, if you guys don't know how to get to the circle, all you guys have to do is come up to here and hold down that and just find the ellipse tool. So here's my ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to kind of move this into the center of my project. So right about there, that's fine. And we're going to rename this basic circle. And we just want to lock these. So just hit those locks. And then we just want to come to layer new and adjustment layer. And then what we want to do is just right click on this, rename this, and we'll call this the 3D stroke. All right, so now that we have this, we just want to go to effect, go to trap code, and 3D stroke. All right, so it's going to come up with a black image. Don't worry, just go to transfer mode, hit down this drop down menu and click normal, and that'll get rid of that. And then what we want to do is we want to make a mask around this circle so it fits the circle, so it goes around the circle, um, which is a, a lot of circles there. So we just want to come back to our ellipse tool, and when we start drawing on a um, a layer, uh, like an adjustment layer, sorry about that, um, it's going to come up as a mask already. So it should be yellow. If it's not yellow, um, it might just not uh, be your default color. So it could be blue, could be red. Um, just uh, whatever you guys see, that should be the default mask. So right there, that fits our circle perfect. And then what we want to do is I'm just going to change the color to, um, I use pink in my example. I'm just going to use kind of a lime green um, in this. So after we have this mask, all we want to do is come up here to use all paths and untick that. And then we want to go to path and go to mask one. Now we're not gonna see anything happen just yet. So we can just make our start go to about 50. And then we want to come down here to the 3D stroke that we have named and just come over here to kind of the circle with a slash through it. And we just want to click that and then our um, stroke will appear. Now to get rid of such a uh, thick one because we're not using a big circle, we want to change the thickness down to about five is what I would recommend. You guys can mess around with it, of course, to fit your needs. I'm just going to make mine maybe about six would be fine. And then what we want to do is we want to just hit loop. Now that's just going to come in um, uh, down the road, so that'll just save us a step. And then what we want to do is we want to make the end go to about 50. And um, actually in this tutorial, I'm going to make it about 70. And then we want the start to be at 100. All right, so now nothing should be there. No, Nothing should be on your slide. And then you just want to hit the offset to negative 100. Now what this will do is when you mess around with um, the start, then is what it'll do is it'll start appearing. So if we just want to come down here, as we see, it'll start coming around. Now the start, we can make a little bit longer, just fit your needs. If you guys just play around with the start, 
it'll come up so I'm going to use it like this all right so we want to my settings for this um, the thickness is at 6 the end is at 70 and the offset is at negative 80 with loop ticked so if you guys want to use the same settings I'm using you guys can definitely do that just plug those numbers into there so as we're on 0 0 in our timeline we do just want to hit um, this kind of uh, stopwatch right next to the offset to add a keyframe and we just want to go scroll on down to 5 and as we play around with this it'll loop around so I'm gonna make mine go right about there alright so if we go down our timeline again we just hit RAM preview it's gonna show it popping up again just like so alrighty so as we're at zero zero now again we want to hit taper and taper is what's going to let us have kind of that um, that ending where it kind of looks kind of faded off and stuff it almost looks like a feather um, and a lot of people would think that you use feather but you don't you actually use the taper now to make the taper pop up we want to hit enable and then as we see it's already going to start popping up on there but what we want to do is make sure that the start is still a solid um, end so we just want to make the end solid and then um, it follow around just like so so to do that all I did was make the taper end go to a hundred and then I hit my taper start and I left it at 50 now it should be defaulted as taper start to 50 and taper end to 50 but you just want to make sure that the taper end is set to 100 so now if we just play it again it's gonna look just like that and it almost looks kind of like a loading circle and it almost looks I mean you guys can really use this effect in anything that you wanted you didn't even have to use it around a circle you guys can use squares you guys can make it uh, just scribble across the screen you guys can really do anything all you guys have to do is just mess around with your mask and then just do these same steps so um, is what I did is I did add also a color correction to this one that's why it looks um, kind of like glowing and stuff like that if you guys wanted to do that all you need is to have um, your magic bullet looks if you guys don't have magic bullet looks then obviously you guys can't make some of the uh, color corrections but you guys can also just throw around a color correction and uh, just see what it looks like now uh, one more thing that I would recommend is hitting down the 3d stroke opening up your effects tab open up the 3d stroke and then go on over to uh, five seconds to the keyframe and I would right click on it on the keyframe go to keyframe assistant and go to easy in and it's what that's going to do is it's basically going to speed up the process at the beginning and then slow down at the end so it kind of does look kind of like that loading stylish and it'll kind of slow down at the end and um, come to your uh, come to the complete stop so I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial I hope it helped you guys out who are wondering how to make this I'm sorry that it is an external plugin but it definitely does look really nice and it comes out with a very nice preview um, uh, to the trap code 3d stroke so if it did help, please take two seconds, hit that like button for me. If you guys have any future requests for future GFX Tip Fridays, definitely leave them in the description below. Sorry, not the description, but leave them in the comment sections. Or you guys can definitely message me um, on Twitter, Facebook, or you guys can just PM me here on YouTube. Well, guys, until next time, my name's Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. Phenomenal, yeah. my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. That shit, just let me go Owers and tastemakers, makers, no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man